I said, guess who's back? Man, guess who's back? I said, guess who's back? But like back? I said before, there's no blueprint on how to beat Floyd Mayweather. And he can tell you that himself. You're going to have to put the whole world in the rain to beat me. I'm the best. Don't, don't, let, them, the don't, don't let them trick you into getting your ass whooped again. He's uh, older than me. I'm still young, so... Uh, <laughs> to be the greatest boxer in the world is to, uh, to know how to uh, be compassionate and to show the people that you're really a, a fighter. That no matter how you rate it, no matter how you cut it, no matter how you slice it, no matter if you go to 100 years back, 300 years back, all the way to now, there's only one best. And that's Floyd Mayweather. What's going on, my beautiful boxing fans? It's Back Chat TV, and I'm back with another video. So today, there was um, a very unexpected announcement. Um, I, I certainly didn't expect it anyway. Floyd Mayweather fighting the rematch with Manny Pacquiao. Um, obviously, it's like an exhibition. I always had a feeling that it would happen, especially in this time with uh, a lot of exhibitions happening. Um, you know, we've got Logan Paul fighting Floyd Mayweather and then Manny Pacquiao's doing some kind of a exhibition with someone. And um, there's a lot of fighters coming out trying to get exhibition fights, especially with this new promotional company in uh, Japan, Ryzen. Ryzen is um, the, the main uh, promotional company um, for, for MMA and boxing in Japan, as, as I know. And, um, you know, they're offering a lot of money for senior fighters like Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, um, to, to fight exhibition fights. And um, so because of this era where we've got this kind of exhibition fights now, I had a feeling that these two would fight again. I always knew in the back of my mind, Manny Pacquiao always um, either felt in his, in his self that he won the fight against Floyd Mayweather because he says that Floyd Mayweather didn't really do anything in their first fight many years ago. Um, he, either, he either thought that he won or he was uh, really wanting to get that one back because, you know, they had some bad blood and they didn't really like each other. Two different personalities. One very brash uh, character in Floyd Mayweather. Very confident, very brash. Some would say arrogant. And um, Manny Pacquiao is very humble and uh, kind of silently confident. And um, those two personalities combined with their extreme competitiveness, just never allowed them to really get on. Now, obviously, much older. We know Floyd Mayweather won the uh, the first fight, which was, a, you know, an epic, epic fight. Not an epic performance, but it was an epic fight. I mean, uh, I don't know many people at all who didn't watch Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. You know, it was uh, one of the biggest fights in history, if not the biggest fight. And um, it kind of... Um, it was a bit underwhelming because people thought it would be fireworks. But at the end of the day, Floyd Mayweather got the decision. And um, Manny Pacquiao has never really liked that. He's always wanted that back. He said he had a bad shoulder. had evidence to show that he did have some issue with his shoulder. So I can only take him at his word. Floyd Mayweather won fair and square all those years ago. And since then, they've gone on to do different things. Now... They're in a later stages of their careers in general, even uh, when it comes to exhibition fights. You know, they can't do exhibition fights forever. And um, they've decided to get that money again and make a fight happen. Now, in most situations, I would say this is ridiculous. I'm not interested in seeing these, you know, much older fighters way out of their primes fight again. But the exception would be these two. You know, they've 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 reeled me in. <laughs> I want to see it. Who wants to see this? These two middle-aged men, you know, in their in their late forties. I think Floyd Mayweather is like 46, 47 or something. Manny Pekka is two years younger. But they're not just two boxers, like good boxers or anything. They're arguably the best fighters who have ever lived. Manny Pacquiao is an eight division world champion. Um he was you know, active just up until a few years. His last fight being um, against um, Ugas, which he lost convincingly. But before that, he fought Keith Thurman, which was an amazing performance. 
absolutely outstanding performance. It's actually a performance that goes under the radar. A lot of people don't talk about that performance. One of his best performances, to be honest, um, against a, a young, you know, um, hungry champion with a lot of power. And look what he did to Keith Thurman. We all know Manny Pacquiao's still got it. And um, he's been keeping active. He's had um, some... I know we all know that he stays in the gym and things like that, but he's had uh, some exhibition fights. Uh, Mayweather has had more exhibition fights. And that's one thing I like. It's not too old, out-of-shape men, you know, like uh, the Roy Jones and uh, Mike Tyson type of thing. These are two men who... They have big egos, both of them. You know, um, they both stay in the gym... Not as much as before, but they never get massively out of shape. Like I said, Floyd Mayweather has been quite active, fighting a lot of exhibition fights against nobodies. And Manny Pacquiao has been less active, but fighting more fights against top-ranked people because he uh, he retired much later and uh, uh, fought some some top guys before he before he left. So you know, Manny Pacquiao, they're kind of on the same level. This this rematch actually makes perfect sense. I mean, uh, it should be very competitive. It's not as if one fighter has, you know, done absolutely nothing and wants to just get back in the ring like uh, the last outing that Evander Holyfield had, you know, being completely inactive and then jumping straight back in the boxing match. Both of these guys have been active in their own way and it should be extremely competitive. They're both in great shape, although they're older, you know, and uh, we've seen their their last couple of fights, have they've still looked sharp. Floyd Mayweather still looked sharp in his exhibition fights. And like I said before, Manny Pacquiao looked amazing against Keith Thurman a few years ago. So, yeah, 50-50 fight. I'm still excited, not as excited as I was for the first fight, but I'm still excited. And although this is an exhibition fight, um, they will both train their hearts out for this because they're both competitive people, as we've heard in the clip that I played uh, the shots fired was hilarious. I, I actually loved this uh, press conference. It was much funnier than I thought it would be. You know, they went straight for it. Floyd Mayweather with the same old confident talk, even in his 40s. Um, I kind of feel like he was trying to, to sell the fight and uh, and build up the, um, you know, the expectation so that, they, so that they can really make some money off this fight and it would be a big event. But I also kind of feel that Floyd Mayweather wanted to get under uh, Manny Pacquiao's skin, kind of be that bad guy again, you know, get get back that hatred that a lot of people had uh, in their previous rivalry so that they could really build this fight up as big as possible. And I think that this was amazing uh, a marketing strategy from both fighters. You know, Manny Pacquiao was going to stay very humble, but that doesn't really sell a fight. And Floyd Mayweather was quite um, complimentary to him you know, shaking his hand and talking with him. But then he got straight into the trash talk. And I think that was the perfect thing to do. And Manny Pacquiao did the perfect thing by um, replying in a, in a kind of underhanded shots fired. He, uh, he basically said that if you call yourself the greatest fighter, the greatest fighters are humble and compassionate. You know, uh, basically insinuating that Floyd Mayweather is not humble or compassionate. And then he also mentioned that he is an eight-weight uh, eight weight world champion. And uh, this is something that is very difficult to do. And a lot of people who call themselves great haven't done that. Um, a direct reference to Mayweather not being uh, as accomplished as himself when it comes to moving up in weight division, which is true. So that was another shot fired, a subtle shot fired by Manny Pacquiao. Um, Floyd Mayweather came back with uh, a less subtle shot uh, where he talked about being the best, uh, Manny Pacquiao not having any blueprint against him because of his loss. Um, he came back to also say that um, Manny Pacquiao didn't stand a chance then and he wouldn't stand a chance now because he's the best in any era. If you go back, 300 years, 100 years. Uh, it's only Floyd Mayweather, he said. The same arrogance. And I love it, to be honest. I'm a fan. I want to see more. I want to see more of that arrogance, to be honest. Um, uh, like I said, they've roped me in. I want to listen out for a final date when this is going to happen. Would I pay for it, pay-per-view? Probably not. Uh, I do. Uh, both of these fighters have had their fair share of uh, pay-per-view money from me in the past. Uh, but maybe I would. 
I actually think that it will, might end up being a better fight this time, to be honest. And although they say it's an exhibition fight, I doubt that they will be moving around, you know, sparring with each other because, like I said before, Mayweather um, will not lose even in an exhibition to Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao, the only thing he wants to do in his career is get a win over Floyd Mayweather. So that leads to, you know, both of them just going for it. I don't think it would be, um, you know, like a kind of a joke fight. I think they'll both go for it. They're both competitive. And what I like is, a, is the fact that um, I feel like it's equal. You know, Manny Pacquiao has a good chance of beating Floyd Mayweather. He's kept himself in great shape. He lives a much more humble life than Floyd Mayweather. Um, you know, he's been very active in fighting high competition, high level competition, more than Floyd Mayweather. Um, got a lot of things in his favor. He's two years younger than Floyd Mayweather. I know that didn't make a difference initially when he lost, but who knows how far Floyd Mayweather has slipped you know, in, in those uh, few years where he's older. I just feel like it would be a good fight. And now that they're a lot, you know, slower and um, I don't think it's going to be a 12-round fight, that's going to, I think that's going to favour Floyd Mayweather. Um, Manny Pacquiao, sorry, I think it's going to favour Manny Pacquiao. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to um, this fight when it happens, if it happens. I mean, like I said, they've got the press conference, the money's in place, they've signed contracts, all sorts of um, things, uh, preliminary things that they need to sign. And they're here, and they've been working on this behind the scenes. And uh, yeah, I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to, to see the fight. Like I said, they're two of the best fighters of all time. So, you know, if there was ever going to be any throwback fight that I'd still watch, these two would be one of them. Um, let me know what you think. You may think uh, something totally different, that these two should stay out of the ring and, you know, there's a danger of someone getting hurt and things like that as you get older. But I don't really think there is. These two... Fighters have been boxing their whole lives. They know how to protect themselves. They uh, they fought at the top level. Level they've been at the top level. You know, um, they're both great fighters. Just because they retired, it doesn't mean they still can't uh, can't get in the ring and give an amazing performance. And I'd like to see the uh, the rematch to see what would be different. You know, I always thought Manny Pacquiao had a great chance, even in the first fight. Everyone makes it out as if Manny Pacquiao got completely dominated. I didn't see that at all. You know, Floyd Mayweather won the fight when you watch it properly and you, you know, really kind of get into how many shots were landed. But if you were just kind of watching the highlights, you'd think Manny Pacquiao won the fight because Manny Pacquiao had more pressure. He had a lot of success anytime Floyd Mayweather was uh, on the ropes. He landed multiple punches on the ropes to the point where Floyd Mayweather had to get off the ropes and stay out of the corners. And that's when Floyd Mayweather started to be able to control the distance better. And he landed some hard shots. And uh, But if you look at a lot of the, uh, the eye-catching kind of flurries, a lot of those eye-catching shots was from Manny Pacquiao, you know? So, I mean, only because I'm a boxing fan, I know that Floyd Mayweather won because I actually watched it round for round and counted the eff uh, effective punches and stuff like that. But... Uh, just initial, when when I actually watched the fight live all those years ago, I actually thought Manny Pacquiao won. I mean, I wasn't 100% sure that Mayweather won the first fight. So until I watched it again and then I realised why he won. So it was close the first time and uh, I think it'll be close again. So that just goes to show um, Manny Pacquiao with his speed, his power, his tenacity. You know, even Keith Thurman mentioned how good Manny Pacquiao was in the ring. He couldn't believe it. Uh, even Floyd Mayweather said, now he can, after the first fight, he said, now he understands why Manny Pacquiao beat so many top fighters. Because before that, he couldn't, he didn't know why Floyd, uh, Manny Pacquiao was beating uh, Koto and all these fighters so easily. And that's when we got the drugs allegations and stuff that like he really didn't know until he got in the ring with Manny Pacquiao. And he said he's deceptively fast, powerful, faster feet than he thought. You know, he's a, he's a real danger. He can see why he's a danger and why he did so well. You know, so like, like I said before, Manny Pacquiao has always been a danger and uh, he'll continue to be a danger against Floyd Mayweather in a rematch. I would definitely watch it. Let me know what you think. Would you watch it? And do you still think uh, it will still be competitive and maybe even more exciting this time now that they're older? 
Let me know what you think. I'm on to the next I one. Said, guess who's back? Man, guess who's back? I said, guess who's back? <laughs>